<laughs> Hello, and welcome to SimLab Composer 2015 Essential Training Series. In this video we will quickly get a brief on, how to export for an iPad device. We will be using a project with ready scene states. You will find it in any other file needed, in this video's exercise file folder. Keep in mind that, this video may not cover older topics covered in other tutorials. Having that said, let's get to know how easy creating and editing is for an iPad output in Composer 2015. Let's have a look on our final output. Now we will start our Composer. Wait it to load a bit. Hit an open file from this window, or from the action on the file desk tab. Now go ahead and open the file called iPad Plane. Now as you can see we have our scene states all set and ready to go. Basically they are material scene states and some cameras scene states. So we will start off by designing our template. Head to Sharing Workbench, on the iPad Task tab, hit Settings. Here are tabs containing some interesting options, but we will get into them later on another tutorial. However I'll just switch the navigation into Spin for comfort on my iPad. Now hit on the new icon. Enter the size you want, I will stick to my iPad's resolution. Remember that the DPI on the iPad is higher than the PC screen. My iPad has a DPI of 256. Now we should enter a 3D area, this will allow our 3D object to be displayed. Without a 3D area in your template, you will not see any model. Enter the image called background.jpg, found in the exercise files folder. Now we will resize the 3D area. Now we will insert our thumbnails. This is for accessing our scene states. Our thumbnails images will be found in the thumbnails folder, found in the exercise files folder as well. Reposition the thumbnail over the soft highlight. Select scene states out of the types drop down menu. then we will need to copy the rest the same way. We will skip inserting all the images to save some time. Okay now we will insert a URL to a website. From the Types drop down menu, select URL instead. Paste in any URL you want, just make sure to take off the HTTP and the slashes, just keep it plain as possible. Now let's postpone linking the scene states for now, I'll save this template. If you save your template outside the default directory, you can find it through that small icon. Let's hit edit to edit our save template. We will now link our scene states. 
First change the images to the right ones. Now all we need to do is write the right name down on this box. Of course the name of the scene state found in Composer. Do this to the rest of the template thumbnails, and we're done with our template. All we need now is to export. You can either hit OK, then hit export from the task tab, or just hit export down here. Keep all scene states checked in this case, then upload onto Dropbox. And there you go. Congratulations on creating your first iPad export. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.